Hi Shimmy Shaker and welcome to this week's tutorial, six ballet moves that every belly dancer should know. Welcome to Belly Dancer Diaries. If you're new, please check out my channel. I have heaps of belly dance workouts, inspiration and tutorials, all for you to have fun, enjoy your life and enjoy dancing. So today I've got a little bit of a different tutorial, which is all about ballet moves. Yes, ballet, but we're not ballerinas, are we? We have belly dancers. You will be surprised to know though that in the golden era of belly dance, many dancers also learnt in ballet and of course that influenced some of their moves. So today I'm going to teach you six things that every belly dancer should know that are stolen from ballet. Okay, number one, and this might not surprise you, but it is the feet. So when you look at folkloric dancing, often the feet are nice and relaxed. For example, if you look at something like Saidi, nice relaxed feet, nice relaxed feeling. When you're dancing classical oriental, you really want to point your toes. So pointing the toes nice and long. And as well, yes, we come up onto demi point, which is very classical in ballet, coming up onto your toes and pointing your toes. If you focus on your feet, it's going to make your dancing look so much more elegant. For example, if you're watching a move like our Ronde de Jambe, this is without pointed feet. <laughs> and then with pointed feet elongating through, oh, so much prettier. So number one, point your toes, take that from ballet, have fun with it. Okay, move number two. This is our chasse. So chasse, it is like to chase, I guess, in French. Um, but in this step, it is definitely a ballet step that we use a lot in belly dancing. And it goes like this. So for this step, it's a great one if you're trying to get over a really big distance. If you are dancing in a big room, you're starting off stage and you have to get to the other side really quickly, use this step, it's a lot of fun. What are we doing? We're bringing one foot in front, we step, transfer, step, and then we change to the other foot in front. Step, 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 change, step, 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 change, step, 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 change, step, 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 change, step, 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 change. This move is much more fun with momentum. So once you've got the steps, start to go quick. You can do it on flat feet or you can do it up on your toes as well. And it's nice as well if you bring one arm in front. So the opposite arm to your leg is in front. You can keep your wrists in like you're pushing to the side or you can keep your hands like this like a classical ballet position. Which brings me to our next one, which is of course hands. If you watch ballet, you see ballerinas have such beautiful, soft, flowing hands. And a lot of this was brought into classical oriental dancing as well. So you can really just release through, shake out your hands and then relax. Shake them out and relax. If you do struggle with hands in belly dance, um, have a look at some photos of ballerinas because really good ones, you'll just see this beautiful softness. Even though they're working hard and it's very deliberate, it's beautifully soft. Okay, next one is our chaine turn. So it's like a chain turn, we do one after the other. So in ballet, you would start up on your toes, stepping out, in and around. So each time you step, you're going a little bit further to the side. You're spotting in the direction you're going. So I'm spotting over here. It's really hard to do slow. Taking small steps to get you all the way across. So in ballet, you'd usually use your arms, you know, is this fifth position? I don't know, let me know in the comments, um, to help you come around. Is this first position? Yeah, I don't know. Um, but in belly dance, we, we wouldn't typically have our hands like this, but we can still use our arms to help us get around. I usually have my hands this way, so to cross as we come around. Or a really beautiful combination that I learnt from Mahmoud Reda himself when I went to some of his workshops is to add a beautiful arm over the top and pose. So with this one, all I'm doing is bringing the back arm around, both arms out, front arm around, arms come down and reach to hold the finish. Let's go again with that shiny turn. Over, out, over, down 
and up. Yeah, nice. Okay, next move in our ballet moves that every belly dancer should know. One is our Ronde Jump. And I think this name is actually coming from ballet, but in belly dancing, it's a little bit different. So it's leg coming around. I think that's what it translates to. And I know in ballet, you do bring the leg in front and then come around. But in belly dancing, we do it a little bit differently. We start at the back, we bring the leg through, then we come around. So bring the leg through and around, through and around. So as you bring it through, you're bending this leg to bring it in front. Then as you bring it around, it's like you're drawing a semicircle, or like a D shape. D on the floor with your toe. Remember, point your toes if you're doing this style around. And then, of course, it wouldn't be belly dancing unless we put our hips into it. So we are reaching that hip in front and around, in front and around. And then, as the other leg, this leg comes forward, you can bend the supporting knee. This is a really nice one. It requires quite a bit of strength in your ankle, stability in your ankle, and also your hip. So it might be one that you want to practice and build up to. And if you like it, you can bring one hand to your temple, other hand out, energy in your fingers, but again, nice and soft and release. Okay, move at number six from ballet that every belly dancer should know is of course our arabesque. So arabesques are really, really lovely in ballet. I can't get my leg up that high, but if you're a ballerina, you can probably go really high. But we still use these in belly dance and often we use them as a traveling step. So very, very common with step three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. We also do it where we keep the foot down low. Three, two, one, over. Three, two, one, over. Three, two, one, over. A little bit hard on a decking. <laughs> Hopefully you're on a nice floor and it's easier for you to turn. Yes, so there you go. There are six moves from ballet that all belly dancers should know. Let me know in the comments, are any of you pure ballet dancer? Yes, let me know. Do you know these moves? Do you use them in your belly dancing? Are there any others that I missed? Please let me know. Okay, now we are going to dance it all together. Just have some fun with our ballet moves. <laughs> 